Among its flurry of updates over the holidays, Notion added support for flowcharts within code blocks. And the way that that works is that you choose Mermaid as the language for the code block, and then you construct your flowchart using the Mermaid syntax. And once it's complete, you can toggle from the split view to the preview view to display only your flowchart. But of course, that requires you to understand the mermaid syntax. And for developers, that's pretty easy. But for everyday users, it's quite a bit more challenging. And that's why I created a tool that lets you construct your flowchart within a Notion database. And it generates your mermaid code automatically for pasting into your code block. So you'll find that tool linked within the Notion VIP post that corresponds with this video. You can duplicate it to your own workspace. And that post is linked within the video description. So after duplicating the page to your workspace, you'll see that it has three sections, each corresponding with a step that you'll take to generate your flowchart. First, you'll initialize the flowchart within a flowcharts database. And then you'll create the nodes for the flowchart. And then you'll paste the automatically generated code into a code block. You can do that here within the tool and then move it, copy and paste it. Or you can paste the code directly into a code block that you create in its final location. So within this flowcharts database toggle, you can see a flowcharts database with one flowchart initialized. This is a sample flowchart demonstrating the process of resolving a lamp issue. And then in the nodes database toggle, we have a database of all nodes, nodes being the shapes which are colored and have text within them and they're connected typically by lines. And then finally, we have a code block in place for pasting that code and generating our final flowchart. So let's step through the creation of another simple flowchart, this one demonstrating the process of opening presents on my birthday. So the first step is going to be to initialize the flowchart. So we'll add an item to the flowcharts database and we'll just call it birthday. And the only option that you configure in the flowcharts database is whether you want the flowchart to be horizontal or vertical. In other words, left to right, or top to bottom. So our lamp repair one is top to bottom. Let's make the birthday one left to right. And then over in the nodes database, we want to create the individual nodes of our flow chart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this lamp repair view here and I'm gonna duplicate it. And then I'm gonna rename that new view to reflect the name of a flowchart that I'm creating. So in this case, that's just going to be birthday. And then I'm going to adjust the filter to display only the items that are related to the birthday flowchart. So these databases are related and all of these lamp oriented nodes are related to the lamp repair flowchart. And we want to be working only with the ones that are related to the birthday flowchart. So right now, we're filtered to display the lamp repair items. And we're going to shift that over to the birthday items. And of course, we don't have any birthday nodes yet. So we're going to see an empty database. And when we add new items, they're going to be related automatically to the birthday flowchart. So let's add our nodes. The first one is going to be the start. The second one is going to ask, is it my birthday? And then we're going to have a directive to open present. Then we're going to ask more presents. And then we're going to have a stop node. And so then we can choose a shape for each of these nodes. So to start, we're just going to use a rounded rectangle. And for the questions, we'll use hexagons. For the open present directive, we'll use the stadium shape. And then for stop, we'll use a rectangle. And then we can also choose among a few different colors for the nodes. So to start, let's use green. And for opening a present, let's also use green. 
For the questions, let's use yellow. And then for stop, we'll use red. And then we want to connect our nodes. So for each node, the other nodes leading to it are going to be known as its parents. And for each node, you can choose up to three parents. And you do that within these relation properties. So we have parent one, parent two, and parent three. And they allow you to choose other nodes from the same database to serve as the parents for each node. And then for each parent, you can create text along the line of the connection. And then you can also choose to increase the length of the line. So for this birthday scenario, start is going to be the top level node. So we don't have any parents. And for is it my birthday, which is the second step, start is going to be the parent. So in parent one, we'll search for start. We don't need any text along that line. So after we ask, is it my birthday? We have two options. If it's yes, we're going to open a present. So that makes, is it my birthday? The parent of open present. So within parent one of open present, I'll add, is it my birthday? And the text for that line is going to be yes. But the other option is going to be no for is it my birthday, in which case we're going to stop the scenario. So for stop, the parent is also going to be is it my birthday. I can copy and paste from the one I already populated. And the text for this one is going to be no. So after we open present, we're going to ask more presence. So that's going to make open present a parent of more presence. So we'll search for open present here. And if we do have more presence, then we are going to open another present. So that's actually going to make more presence another parent of open present. So we will go into parent two of open presence search for more presence, and then for the text, that's going to be yes. But if we don't have more presence, then we are going to stop the scenario. So that's going to make more presence another parent of stop. So we can go into stop, and the second parent is going to be more presence. And the text for this one is going to be no. So we've defined all of the relationships among our nodes here. We've configured all of our options. I'm not going to make any adjustments to the line lengths here, but you can choose just the default. You can make it one degree longer or make it its longest length. And you can just experiment with those different configurations to see what works best for you. But with our nodes finalized here, we can come back up to our flowcharts database and you can see that within the birthday item, we have our mermaid code populated. So we can copy that. And then within our code block here, we can go back into either the code view or the split view, which displays both the code and the image. And we can replace this mermaid code with the generated code. And you can see here that we have our nice birthday scenario generated from left to right. So if we go into our preview view, we see only the flow chart. And so we can take this block and paste it wherever we want to display it within our workspace. So I hope you can use this tool to enhance the content of your workspace and have a little bit of fun with Notion. And if you have any questions or hit any roadblocks, feel free to tweet at William Nutt.